the one hundredth guest, the busy time of noon went by, and the crowded restaurant became quite peaceful. When the boss of the restaurant was about to take a break, such as reading a newspaper, a grandma and a boy came in. How much for the chicken soup? The grandma sat down and asked, counting some coins. She ordered a soup with a piece of bread and pushed the dishes to the little boy. The boy stared at his grandma with a watery mouth and asked, "Granny, have you really had lunch?" "Sure, dear." Grandma nibbled a piece of radish pickle. In the blink of an eye, the boy ate up all the dishes. The boss had seen all that happened and went to them, said, "Congrats! You are the one hundredth guest here today. Everything is free." One day, after a month. The little boy squat down on the ground across the street, as if counting something. The boss was curious about him. It turned out that for each guest entering the restaurant, the little boy placed a rock in the ring he drew on the ground. After a while, the boy put the ninety-ninth rock in the ring. Finally, then the little boy grabbed his grandmother's hand in a hurry and went into the restaurant. Granny, it's on me this time. The little boy said proudly. The grandma. Who was the one hundredth guest again? Was served by his grandson this time. The little boy, like his grandma, was nibbling a piece of radish pickle in his mouth. Can we just give the boy a dish of the meal as well? The landlady can't bear to see this scene and said, "The little boy knows to treat his grandma. That is knowing how to be grateful." The boss replied, "Grandma, who eats with relish, asked her dear grandson, 'Do you want some?'" Unexpectedly, the little boy patted his belly and said, "Thanks, Granny, but look, I am full now." The little boy appreciated his grandma's kindness to him and invited her to have a delicious meal in his own way. We should remember and appreciate others' kindness to us and use our best way to repay them. We need to know how to repay and be grateful.